Hello people, I wanted to share with you today a recipe and at first I was scouring Pinterest looking for like a fall recipe or a Halloween recipe because it's that time of season or it's that season of year, whatever, you know what I mean. Um, but then I realized, oh my gosh, I did so many last year and then I feel like anything can be pumpkin, pumpkin brownies, you just make brownies and then throw like candy pumpkins, you know what I mean? Like it's dumb, I'm over it. So I thought instead I would share with you this recipe that I made the other day. The best chocolate chip cookie recipe I have ever had in my life or have had in a really long time. I used to make cookies all the time and I kind of haven't in a while, but I made these and they're really, really delicious, so I'll show you what you need. That's right, we need a bowl to mix it up. This is sugar. See? Sugar. <laughs> because, you know, this has sugar in it. And this is a cookie batter. <laughs> and these are... What is this? This is next jet, I think. And this is chocolate chips. These are chocolate chips. This is butter and these are eggs. We called eggs. And this is the thing we're using to make the cookies. And this is sugar. Right. And batter. Flour. 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 You got it, kid. I also have flour. Yeah. And what are we making? Cookies. Yeah. Alright, first let me show you the recipe. It's on my phone. Obviously, I did find it on Pinterest, like everything else in my life, that's worthy of anything. So there it is if you want to jot that down. I'll also leave the link uh, below so you can look at it for real. All right, I'm going to double the recipe because the cookies are that good and you're going to want to double the recipe. Um, however, I am going to try to refrain from making them all right away and I'm going to freeze half of it, like make the frozen dough, like freeze half the dough. Do you know what I mean? Okay, a half a, I mean, uh, whoops, a full cup of brown sugar. It says six tablespoons of white sugar, but I am going to double it. So I need 12 tablespoons, so surely there should be a faster way to convert this. I think there is. There's four tablespoons and a quarter cup, right? Let me do that. So three, because this is not going to, this is going to drive me nuts. Four, and then we'll do half a cup. I think my converting skills are right, but I could totally be wrong. I don't know. I don't know what sugar tastes like. Okay, and then to this, you're going to add two sticks of butter, which is one cup of butter at room temperature. And the recipe is very specific about it being room temperature and not like melted or softened. I don't know. Mine's room temperature, but it's hot here in Florida. All right, and then you're going to cream this, mix it all together until it's creamed. You know, you know what I mean. Okay, we're gonna add two eggs to this. I'll add one, you add one. You add one and you add one. You crack yours. You get it? Close enough. I'm just gonna add some vanilla extract in there. I don't measure it. I just, that's the end of that. <laughs> All right, now it's just me and you. My helper abandoned me. She thinks it's more fun to play. <laughs> Why is she crazy? More fun than making cookies? Okay, so now, um, since I doubled my recipe, I'm going to need three cups of flour. Let me double check. That's right. All right, three cups of flour. Doesn't that look good, by the way? Like, holy fluffiness. I'm so excited for these. Mostly because I haven't had, like, you know, normal, non-healthy cookies in so long. Oh my gosh, they're delicious. I can't even explain it. All right, so three cups of this stuff. All right, two teaspoons of baking soda. And I feel like some of you are probably cringing right now because I didn't mix that separately, but I don't know. This is my kitchen. I do what I want. You do what you want in your kitchen. I just, it, it all mixes in. It'll be fine. Okay, this is a very thick dough. Um, and this recipe is insane, guys. It says for one batch to add two and a quarter cup 
chocolate chips. That is just insane. Isn't that crazy? So I just add, you know, I'm going to leave that in. I just add a couple handfuls and then that's like a cup, I feel like. And then I don't know, a little more. That's so many chocolate chips. It says to add essentially for this amount of dough, four and a half cups. Wow, that's crazy. So I'm, that's how much I'm going to add and I'm going to mix that up. Okay, I'm just mixing in some salt because <laughs> I forgot it. Whoops. Anyway, um, so I will tell you, normally cookie dough batter for me is like way better than the cookies. But this recipe, I would rather eat the cookies. I mean, let's be real. I'm going to eat both. Hashtag, I'm going to get salmonella poisoning. <laughs> Hashtag, I don't care. Um, it's so good. It's going to blow your socks off. I'm not even kidding. All right, so since that's all mixed in, I'm going to grab a baking sheet and put them on the baking sheet. Okay, so here are the cookies. Don't they look so delicious? As you can tell, I left those in a little too long and these look perfect. Okay, so before I eat any more of this raw cookie dough, I'm gonna put half of it in the freezer and I'm gonna show you how I do it. I just roll it up into a ball. And by ball, I mean log. There it is. And then when you're ready to, um, you can throw this in the freezer and then when you're ready to cook them, you just slice it up and throw them on a pan. Delicious. All right guys, so that is my recipe. Have no fear. I will eventually have like pumpkin recipes up, but it will be more of like pumpkin pie and like Thanksgiving themed things. Do you feel me? That's when I cook those kind of things. Halloween is like for fun and you buy handmade candy, not handmade candy. You buy like the package, the pre-packaged candy. It's delicious. Anyway, I hope you enjoy these cookies. If you make them, let me know. Thanks so much for watching and hanging out. I'll see you next time. Bye. You say bye? <gasps> oh, you say bye-bye? You say bye-bye? Uh, oh, bye. Uh, 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 I get eat you. I get eat you over a cookie. Uh, 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 you do. Oh, you do. Oh, la, 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 la. You have to do it.